everyone, konnichiwa from Nasang. Welcome back to the last day of Cookmas and today we are making some piggy peppermint bark. So this recipe was requested by Maryam Kureshi. I hope I said your name right. And I thought that this is perfect timing for this recipe because I'm sure a lot of you have leftover candy canes that you're trying to get rid of and don't know what to do with. So this recipe is perfect. So this peppermint bark is shaped into little pigs and the top layer is pink and the bottom layer is white. So between the pink and white layer are actually some rice krispies and then on top of the white layer are the crushed candy canes. So when you bite into it, you get the peppermint flavor of the candy canes, but you also get that really nice like fluffy crunch from the rice krispies. And make sure to stay to the end of this video because I'll be announcing the winners to the rice cooker and the pink thermos giveaway at the end of the video. So stay tuned for that. I'm so excited. So let's get started. So first what you want to do is dye half of the white chocolate pink with some pink oil based food coloring. And then fill a pig shaped silicone mold halfway with the pink chocolate. Sprinkle some Rice Krispies on top of the pink chocolate and then place the mold in the freezer for the chocolates to fully set for about 15 minutes. And I'll have a link for the pink oil based food coloring and for the little piggy shaped silicone mold in the description box below if you'd like to buy it for yourself. Then pour the white chocolate on top and sprinkle some crushed candy canes on the surface. Return the mold to the freezer for the chocolate to set for an additional 20 minutes. Then unmold the chocolates and dust the pig's faces with white luster dust to give them a frosty look. And you are done! So thank you guys so much for watching. So now on to the giveaway winners. I just wanted to say thank you to all of you guys for entering the giveaway. You're more people entered than I even thought would. I thought I'd get maybe like 15 or 20 entries, but so many of you guys entered and you came back every day and it was so sweet and like the entries that you left, they weren't just like saying what you wanted to make and using the hashtag. You're actually like, you were so nice and you said thank you. And like you, you were so nice. That's like the nicest things about my channel. So I just wanted to say thank you. You guys always do like above and beyond what normal viewers do. So just thank you so much. It means so much to me. And I really wish, I really, really, really wish that I could be giving like every single one of you a rice cooker. I wish I was Oprah and I wish I could do that. <laughs> Maybe one day I will, but um, unfortunately it's not today, but I want it to be. <laughs> I selected the winners by random using like a YouTube comment randomizer thing. So the winner, oh, so the winner for the pink rice cooker is Daisy Aguilar. So congratulations! And the winner for the pink thermos is Isabel Wang. So congratulations to both of you. I'm so happy for you, and I cannot wait to send them to you. So within the next 24 hours or so, I'll be sending you two a direct message on YouTube asking you for your address and everything like that. So make sure to check your YouTube inbox for that. And um, I love you guys so much. Um, but again, I want to thank you guys so much for your support. This has been an awesome cookmas and I will definitely be doing it next year. And I also wanted to say thank you again to Tiger for providing the rice cooker and for providing the thermos. They were so, so so generous in providing these for the giveaway. And so I just wanted to express my gratitude because this giveaway wouldn't be possible without Tiger either. And make sure to check back next Tuesday because videos are continuing, of course, on my channel. So check back next Tuesday for a new recipe. And I love you so much. And I hope you're having a fantastic start to the new year. Bye. And then on top of the white layer is the crushed candy cane or the crushed candy cane. God, it's a continuous battle of Kayla versus grammar. Jeez. I'm a language major, I should be good at this. Okay.